It's Black History Month and we need to start things off on a strong note. So today we are kicking things off with 10 black history facts that you didn't know about Canada. So let's get to it. Number one, Toronto was essentially a safe haven for slaves that were escaping from the US. Not only was it a safe haven, but Toronto was way more, quote, progressive when it came to protecting the human rights of black citizens. In July of 1843, a circus was actually stopped from performing by city council until assurances were given that they would not sing songs or perform anything that would be insulting to Toronto's black men. Number two, there were so many influential, strong, and powerful black women throughout Canadian history, such as Mary Ann Shad Carey. She arrived in Canada from the US, and in 1853, she made history. She became the first ever female publisher in Canada with her newspaper, The Provincial Freeman. Number three, 1819 marked a big year for Canada. Attorney General John Beverly Robinson declared that residents in Canada would make black men and women free. He also pledged that Canadian courts would have to uphold the freedom. Number four, if you look at a $10 bill, you will see one woman who is monumental to Canadian history, Viola Davis Desmond. In 2018, she officially began appearing on Canada's $10 bill and she was honored for her work in the civil rights movement and became the first ever black person and non-royal woman to regularly appear on Canadian money. In 1946, she pulled a Rosa Parks in Nova Scotia at the Roseland Theatre because she refused to sit in the balcony, but instead she chose to sit in the seats that were exclusively for white people and she was later arrested for this act of defiance. In 2010, the government of Nova Scotia apologized to her family for the incident. Number five, 1965 marked a time of high racial tension and it was particularly bad in Amherstburg, Ontario. The Black Baptist Church was defaced and to make matters worse, the town sign was sprayed over with Amherstburg, home of the KKK. The Ontario Human Rights Commission launched an investigation into the matter, but no arrests were made. Number six, the Immigration Act of 1962 and its 1967 reforms led to a large migration of black West Indians to Canada. However, black communities who had already made their home here in Canada felt threatened by the influx and the cultural differences. Number seven, Toronto's Caravan Festival was founded in 1967. Approximately two thirds of Canada's West Indian population lives within the greater Toronto area. And on July 28th, 1967, 10 Caribbean Torontonians founded the Caravan Cultural Festival to share their cultural traditions with the rest of Canada. And of course, the Toronto Caribbean Carnival is one of the most looked forward to events of the year in Toronto. Number eight, in 1985, the first black person was sworn in to hold a vice regal position in Canada, and that was Lincoln Alexander. He was sworn in as Ontario's Lieutenant Governor in September of 1985. He also was the first ever black MP and federal cabinet minister. Number nine, Oakville's Donovan Bailey earned himself the title of the world's fastest human in 1995 by winning the 100 meter sprint at the World Track Champions in Sweden. He then went on to win gold at the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta, where he set a world and Olympic record for the 100 meter sprint, finishing in 9.84 seconds. Number 10, Black History Month in Canada became official on a federal level in 1995 after decades and decades of work by the Ontario Black History Society. Inspired by what the US had done in 1950, finally Black History Month would have its place in Canada too. Hopefully you all learned something from the video today. I know I learned a lot while researching and stay tuned for more Black History Month content. See you guys later.